hello welcome to my kit videos um, today i have two controllers here i have the um, sht 2000 controller it controls temperature and humidity and then i have the zl 781e all right yeah i'm using the two of them because um, this one the sensor is not responding and then i'm using it to uh, time only the motor only the motor um, we have the motor here all right okay and then i'm using this to control my temperature and humidity so i want to show you how um, we set the temperature and humidity i want my temperature to stay on and then go off at 37.8 and then i want it to come on at 37.5 okay so it will stay on 37.8 it will go off when the temperature comes down to 37.5 then to come back on right then the same for the humidity all right so here's how i'm going to do it so now i'm going to set the upper limit of the temperature 37.8 so we have two buttons here all right so these two buttons up are used to set the temperature and then the two buttons down here i used to set the humidity okay, so i want to set the upper limit so i'm going to use the arrow pointing down okay i'm going to hold it you see it blinking then now i'll use this but oh it stopped blinking so i'm going to do it again i'm going to hold it when it's blinking i'll use this arrow button to increase it all right to uh, 37 Point eight. That's some point eight. If you leave it and stop blinking, it will save. So if you want to check if it's it has saved, you press the bottom once. It should display what you set. Okay. Then um, to set the lower limit, what you do is you hold the up button rather. You hold it. When it's blinking, you adjust it to uh, what you want. So take seven point five. Mm, you leave it; it will stop blinking. Yeah. So to check if it saved, you press it once, and it has displayed. You press it once. This is what you set. You press it once. This is what you set. Uh -huh. So this is the temperature right now, 29.1. All right, so the same for the humidity, the upper button. Uh -huh. Then now, okay, it's already 60, so I'll leave it. Then the lower value, which is 50, I'll take it to 50. Okay. 50.0. So it has stopped yeah so we are done with setting the temperature and humidity okay so i'll do for the timer very soon so what i just did was to bind the two controllers together All right. thanks for watching uh, you can subscribe if you haven't i'll show you the other components soon So here is another turning of canister. You can you can get the screws at my kit shop. You get more capacities. So instead of this 60 per level, you can get 88 per level. And this photo can turn up to 2,000, 3,000 eggs. So, yeah. This is just something we've done for testing purposes. So every 30 minutes, 
my motor is going to be turning for 10 seconds just 10 seconds and then the motor will stop for 30 minutes and then it will come on again for 10 seconds you can set it any how you want but um, no i realize for my inflator you just have to do it 10 seconds yeah so my heat comes from the top the heat comes from the top because of the fans it's able to reach down and that's a humidifier okay so this heater is being controlled by the controller so thank you if, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to our video our channel and like it if you haven't thank you